Hey, everybody. Welcome back to My View on the View, a commentary program all about my favorite show, ABC's The View. Thank you all for joining me. Come on in here. Let's talk about this Radar Online report. Come on. Well, guys, thanks for joining me for another episode. Listen, if you are a new listener, welcome. Thanks for being here with us. Uh, check the description box if you got any questions about who I am, why you don't see me, you only hear me, all of that good stuff. Well, guys, listen, um, yesterday, uh, a report came out, an exclusive report, I should say, was released from Radar Online regarding Whoopi. And I want to uh, read it to you because it's very, very short. And I want to discuss it with you because, listen, y'all, Allegedly, what the sources told them coincides exactly with what you and I have been talking about in regards to Whoopi the last couple of weeks, okay? So in case you want to read it for yourself, it's called Not in a Good Place, Whoopi Goldberg's Friends, pleading for her to leave the view as backlash grows over Holocaust remarks, okay? Whoopi Goldberg faced intense uh, backlash and was forced to apologize this week after repeating a false claim about the Holocaust. And sources claim her friends are pleading with her to step away from the show. RadarOnline.com has learned. An insider said before the scandal this week, Whoopi had been urged by friends to leave her longtime spot as co-host of the daytime show. This is what allegedly the person told them. Quote, Whoopi has been out of control. Her health has been suffering and she always seems ready for a brawl. It's at a point where the constant fighting is literally killing her. Period. Close quote. It, then the person goes on to say here to Radar Online. Let me scroll, scroll down here. It says, Quote, she's not in a good place at all, and her friends are begging her to walk away to save herself. The person goes on to say, Whoopi seems to be picking fights all the time. She she makes things very toxic. It's very clear that she is unhappy. They're talking about unhappy at the show. Then the, the uh, story goes on to say, sources told Radar Online that Joy has been actively campaigning for Whoopi to get the boot. A source at the show claimed producers have, quote, grown tired of Whoopi's constant on-air episodes and believe they are driving viewers away, uh, close quote. And let's see, I think the rest of it, I'll just let those of you who want to read it, uh, read for yourself. So let's discuss this. You know, they said that um, in that story that, you know, Whoopi, uh, you know, seems to be ready to brawl. Haven't we discussed that here, that on the show, because Whoopi has so much going on outside of this job that she's extremely tired and she's pulled in so many different directions that her patience, her patience, y'all, is just not the way it used to be. And that's the way it would be with any of us. Remember, we were talking about this, how she just like easily, uh, you know, gets annoyed with Sunny and she jumps down her throat um, when she is responding to hot topics. Whoopi becomes very emotional and very often her points don't make any sense. Um, she doesn't finish her thoughts. Um, and so it's just very obvious, uh, as, as I said to you guys uh, a few weeks ago when I was griping about Whoopi, it's very obvious that she's not happy with the job anymore, um, but she's staying there. Do you guys remember why Joy said she was glad that they fired her? All those years ago, you remember what Joy told us? I think it's it's that it's something similar with Whoopi. Joy said, for those of you who don't remember, she talked about how she had gotten to a point where she did not like that job anymore. She didn't like the direction the show was going on in anymore, but she couldn't quit because Joy said the money, she was making such good money. That money, she said, was like a gold handcuff, handcuffing me to that table. And so Joy said, I was glad when they fired me. And so I think that's the reason that Whoopi stays here. Uh, it's the money, guys. Um, it's the, it's, you know, this is an active paycheck. Um, a lot of people don't understand that Whoopi has a lot of passive forms of income. You know, we talked about that. Remember her Prosecco line, her clothing line, her books, you know, all of that. But those are not active forms of income, right? Her CBD line. But this show, she's getting paid. Uh, I don't know if they get paid there once a month or if it's twice a month. I don't know how the pay cycle is there. But what we learned from the Daily Mail is that allegedly Whoopi is making 
over $97,000 a week. Not to mention she uh, is off on Fridays, not to mention she's in a good space with this job where they allow her to leave anytime she needs to, to go film a movie, to go do something. And remember the longest she's been gone to film a movie was close to two months uh, last season when she left uh, to go to London to fill a Nazi boys. So I really think guys that that is what's keeping Whoopi here because again, just like her friends uh, allegedly told this, uh, uh, the, uh, Radar Online people, she's not happy. And listen, there's not one of us who watch this show on a daily basis that can say that Whoopi is happy at the job. Uh, we can compare the way she was to the way she is now. And it's been going on for many, 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 many years. Uh, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. And so I think it is time for her to leave y'all. Now, I don't want her to go under a cloud of controversy. Um, I wish she could understand that there's a difference between uh, her personal views on Jewish people versus what Adolf Hitler thought about Jewish people and why he did what he did. Uh, those are two completely different things. And the, and for me, I'm speaking for myself now. I'm not trying to speak for you. For me, the fact that she's not able to see the difference there, that what you think about Jews, whether they are a race of people or not, has nothing to do with the Holocaust. It has nothing to do with why this man did to these people what he did. You got to make a distinction there. Uh, you can have your personal views on Jew Jewish people all day long. But when people are talking about the Holocaust, your personal opinion about Jews should not come into play because it doesn't matter. You know, it does not matter. These people were killed because he saw them as an inferior race of people. And that's all that matters when we're talking about the Holocaust, not what someone thinks about Jewish people and whether you can see them, you know, me on the street versus them. All that stuff ain't got nothing to do with the Holocaust. And so I, I really hope, guys, that. She doesn't get fired, although I think she probably is going to be fired. I don't think we're going to see her next Tuesday at all. Um, the mere fact that she allowed, I said this to you guys already, um, the mere fact that uh, she let a week go by um, and, and she didn't apologize again until she was forced to apologize again. Uh, that's really terrible, guys. It's, it, it's really, really terrible to have to be forced to apologize for something you've already gotten in trouble about before. It says a whole lot about Whoopi's attitude. And that's just the truth, Ruth. Right, y'all? So, guys, thanks so much. I'm going to let you go. That's the, the exclusive story. Um, it seems to me, guys, that um, at this point in the game, um, most people... Um, most reporters, I mean, are pretty clear that Whoopi probably isn't going to be back on Tuesday. Now, they could surprise us and she could turn up. Um, personally speaking, I think we're going to probably get some statement from ABC News um, before Tuesday, um, letting us know that uh, they have parted ways with Whoopi. Um, the very fact that we've not gotten any statement over this last uh, close to two weeks from the ABC News executives is really worrying to me. Because normally, as I've said before, their representative always gives a blanket statement to the media just to shut the media up, just to get them off their backs. But the fact that the only statement we got was from Whoopi and not from ABC letting us know, hey, we support Whoopi. You know, we we understand what she was saying. The fact that they've not come out in support of her with the public statement says a lot. And so that's kind of where I am. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I got to get up out of here. I enjoy you guys so much. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye guys.